नमस्कार आपका स्वागत है मैं हूं आपके साथ सुप्रीत सचदेव बुलेटिन शुरुआत करेंगे बड़ी खबर के साथ मध्य प्रदेश में निकाय चुनाव के बीच बीजेपी और कांग्रेस में वार पलटवार भी शुरू हो गया है एक तरफ महापौर के प्रत्याशियों का नाम फाइनल करने में जुटे प्रदेश कांग्रेस अध्यक्ष कमलनाथ ने न केवल पार्टी संगठन को मजबूत करने और टिकट की दावेदारी पर अपनी बात रखी तो वही बीजेपी पर निशाना भी साधा इस पर प्रदेश बीजेपी अध्यक्ष वी शर्मा ने कमलनाथ पर पलटवार किया तो कमलनाथ का ये बयान सामने आया है कमलनाथ पर वीडी शर्मा का पलटवार तो कमलनाथ जानते हैं जनता किसके साथ और इस बीच राष्ट्रपति चुनाव को लेकर प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस हो रही है सीधे लिए चलते हैं आपको ऑनरेबल इलेक्शन कमिश्नर श्री अनूप चंद पांडे जी कुलीग्स ऑन द डायस फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम मीडिया present here and connected to us virtually and fellow citizens i feel highly privileged and honored to announce before you the schedule of election for the office of the president of india not only the highest elected office of the country but of the largest democracy of the world bharat ke rashtrapati ka pad दुनिया के सबसे बड़े लोकतंत्र का सर्वोच्च चयनित पद है और जिसके चुनाव कराने की जिम्मेदारी संविधान के आर्टिकल 324 के अंतर्गत भारत निर्वाचन आयोग को सौंपी गई है मैं अपने सहयोगी निर्वाचन आयुक्त श्री अनूप चंद्र पांडे जी एवं संपूर्ण निर्वाचन आयोग के साथ भारत के सोलहवें राष्ट्रपति पद के लिए चुनाव के कार्यक्रम की घोषणा करते हुए अत्यंत गौरवान्वित महसूस करता हूं It's a matter of great pride, privilege, and honor that the institution of Election Commission of India has successfully, freely, fairly conducted elections 15 times to the office of the president, and this is the 16th time, and we really feel very privileged and honored. So the format of today's briefing would be something as it is on your screen. so what we'll do is we'll show you the overview election procedure kya hai election mein kon kon bhag lete hain votes ki unke value kya hai nomination ka process kya hoga elections ki locations kahan hongi voting kahan kahan hogi aur conduct and rules kya hai usse related aur usme kuch hum log naye social responsibility ke kaam karenge wo kya hai aur last mein schedule kya hai The term of office uh, of Shri Ramnath Kovind ji, Honorable President of India, is ending on 24th July 2022, as all of you know. As per Article 62 of the Constitution of India, an election to fill the vacancy caused by the expiration of the term of office of the outgoing president is required to be completed before the expiration of the term. which in this case is 24th july 2022 article 324 of the constitution read with the, the presidential and vice presidential election act copies of which are uh, here outside uh, you can uh, you can also take copies and the presidential and vice presidential election rules 1974 west the superintendent's direction and control of the conduct of election to the office of the president of india in the election commission of india and commission therefore as i said is fully geared up to discharge and perform this duty in a very very free and fair way jo act maine abhi aapko dikhaya uski dhara 43 mein nirvachan ke liye jo adhisuchna hai वे निर्गामी राष्ट्रपति जी की पदावधि समाप्त होने से पूर्व साठवें दिन सिक्सटी डे या उसके पश्चात जारी की जा सकती है और एग्जैक्टली इट इज वी आर फॉलोइंग दिस इट इज आफ्टर सिक्सटी डे एज पर आर्टिकल 54 फोर ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया अगेन द प्रेजिडेंट इज इलेक्टेड बाय द मेंबर्स ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रल कॉलेज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ अलेक्टेड मेंबर्स ऑफ बोथ हाउसेज ऑफ पार्लियामेंट Rajasabha and Lok Sabha, and elected members of the legislative assemblies of all states, including National Capital Territory of Delhi and Union Territory of Pondicherry. Or here, this is one important thing that the nominated members of Rajasabha, 
लोकसभा में और लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबलीज में दे आर नॉट फॉर्म ऑफ पार्ट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रल कॉलेज एंड दे फोर दे आर नॉट एंटाइटल्ड टू वोट सिमिलरली मेंबर्स ऑफ द लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल आर ऑल्सो नॉट इलेक्टेड फॉर द प्रेजिडेंट इलेक्शन आर्टिकल फिफ्टी फाइव थ्री ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रोवाइड्स दैट इलेक्शन शेल बी हेल्ड इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द सिस्टम ऑफ प्रपोर्शनल रिप्रेजेंटेशन by means of a single transferable board and voting at such election shall be by the secret ballot in this system the elector has to mark preferences against the names of the candidates to wo kis tarah se marking kar sakte hain wo bhartiya anko ke antarrashtriya roop mein yani 1 2 3 kar sakte hain roman roop mein kar sakte hain aur किसी भी रिकॉग्नाइज्ड इंडियन लैंग्वेज की जो रोमन जो 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 उसके शब्द हैं उनमें अंक हैं उनमें कर सकते हैं और ये शब्दों में अंकित नहीं किया जा सकता है प्रेफरेंस हेस्ट टू बी मार्क्ड इन फिगर्स ओनली एंड शेल नॉट बी इंडिकेटेड इन वर्ड्स द इलेक्टर आल्सो हैज टू मार्क मेनी प्रेफरेंसेज अगेंस्ट दी नंबर ऑफ कैंडिडेट्स वाइल मार्किंग ऑफ द फर्स्ट प्रेफरेंस इज कंपल्सरी फॉर द बैलेट पेपर टू बी वैलिड और अगर किसी वोटर ने प्रथम चॉइस नहीं दी और बाकी चॉइस दी तो उसका वोट कैंसिल हो जाएगा एक दूसरी विशेष बात है कि वोट देने के लिए आयोग अपनी तरफ से पेन प्रोवाइड करेगा यह पेन पहले से ही एयर के पास रहेंगे और डेजिनेटेड ऑफिसर द्वारा मतदान केंद्र में वोटर्स को मत पत्र सौंपते समय दिए जाएंगे सो दे हैव टू वोट ओनली बाई दैट पर्टिकुलर पेन इफ किसी अन्य पेन का उन्होंने उपयोग किया तो मतगणना के समय उनका वोट इनवैलिड करार दे दिया जाएगा द इलेक्शन कमीशन इन कंसल्टेशन विद सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट अपॉइंट्स दी आर ओस वंस फॉर फ्रॉम द लोकसभा एंड सेकेंड टाइम फ्रॉम द राज्यसभा सो दिस टाइम सेक्रेटरी जनरल राज्यसभा विल बी अपॉइंटेड एज द रिटर्निंग ऑफिसर फॉर द प्रेजेंट इलेक्शन द कमीशन इज ऑल्सो डिसाइडेड टू अपॉइंट असिस्टेंट रिटर्निंग ऑफिसर्स इन ऑल दी स्टेट कैपिटल्स इंक्लूडिंग एन सी टी ऑफ डेली एंड यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ पुंडीचेरी एंड दिस इज फॉर मेकिंग ऑल द अरेंजमेंट्स फॉर कंडक्टिंग द पोल एंड फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टिंग बैलेट बॉक्सेस फ्रॉम डेली टू दी स्टेट कैपिटल्स where the voting will take place at the designated places and also to bring back those uh, ballot boxes if in case the aros are not for some reason fall ill or something the commission is also appointed the second assistant attending officers and will be distributing you a book in the form of a press note what i am reading is available this will be also uploaded appendix to this book gives you all the details of the aros the aros the names the phone numbers everything now coming to the place of uh, voting as per rule 7 of the presidential and vice presidential election rule 74 poll for the election will be taken in parliament house and in the premises of the state legislative assemblies including the legislative assemblies of ncity of delhi and puducherry and the rule provides where legislative assembly meets for transaction of business so this is what is provided in the rule itself and the polling is required if required shall take place in these places and the list of these polling stations is also given in the appendix 2 of the book i just showed you now i come to the value of the votes value of the votes of the elected members of the state legislative assemblies combined is 543231 and similarly of all the mps combined it is all these uh, slides should also be given to you i suppose uh, they must be uh, already tweeted and must be with you on your uh, uh, system so the states is 543231 MP is five lakh forty-three thousand two hundred, so almost equal, and total is ten lakh eighty-six thousand four hundred thirty-one. While the electoral college consists of MPs who are seven seven six and MLAs of the entire country who are four thousand thirty-three, totaling to the voter list of four eight zero nine. So that's what is the total number.
Now I come to the nomination papers. The nomination paper of a candidate has to be delivered only at Delhi, an office designated by the ARP. On nomination, ke, and it cannot be at any other place, it has to be only at Delhi. Nomination may proposer ke roop mein, kam se kam pachas proposers. 50 members of the electoral college will propose and another set of 50 will second. They would be not common, new. So, so, so one set for proposing and one set for uh, seconding. And an elector can subscribe to only one nomination, paper of a candidate as either a proposer or a seconder. Abhyarthi swim is ko file kar sakte hai nomination ko ya apne kisi proposer ya seconder ke dwara 11 o'clock se 3 o'clock tak except holidays file kar sakte hai. And as per the procedure there is a security of 15,000 rupees which has to be filled. There are designated treasuries, there is an RBI office, what is all provided in the booklet. Uh, this is for more care, more for the candidates, this can be deposited. Now, coming to the electoral college again, as per rule 40 of the presidential and vice presidential election rules, 1974, the commission maintains a list of members of the electoral college as referred to in article 54 with the with their correct up-to-date addresses and the, for the purposes of presidential elections. A copy of the electoral college is also being uploaded on the commission's website. So anybody can see who is the member state-wise, that is all on the commission's website, we will be posting it. And there are certain, in this list, <laughs> we will require to update it because there are elections which are taking place for the Rajya Sabha to the 55 positions. Result of whom is coming before the presidential election date. It is similarly, the, the, the uh, voter list would be updated as and when the term of these MPs happen and they will be part of the voter list. Similarly in uh, legislative assemblies also, wherever there are by-elections, and if the results come before the date of voting, their names would also be added in the voter list as a supplementary list. And all of that will also be put on the website of the commission. Further, this voter list is also available if anybody wants to keep it as a record for rupees 300 at our, at our counter which is set up in our commission. But it's available on our website as well. As regards the... Uh, Date of polling, candidate can authorize a representative to be present at the time of polling and at the place fixed for counting. Or this has to be informed to us in advance so that the representative can be approved. About the place of voting for the MPs and MLAs. Normally, MPs are expected to cast their votes at the place of polling in the Parliament House, New Delhi. And similarly, members of the state legislative assemblies are also expected to cast their vote in the respective assemblies. However, if there is an emergency or there is a, some requirement, prior approval say, voting location, kisi bhi voting location par, MPs and MLAs dusri apne boat ko dal sakte hai. But iske liye, kam se kam 10 din pehle, ayo ko suchna dini padegi, taki unke boat ki vyavastha us change isthaan pe ki ja sakhe. To, as I mentioned earlier, the constitution has expressly provided that election to the office of president shall be by secret ballot. The electors are therefore expected to scrupulously maintain secrecy of vote. In this election, there is no, what you call the, uh, the, the display of the vote at all. It is to be secret. There is no concept of open voting in this election. And showing the ballot to anyone under any circumstances will render the vote invalid. So the process is that after you have taken the ballot paper, you, 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 you mark it in the compartment, fold it, and mark it with the pen, as I mentioned, which we have provided. Marking it by any other pen 
would also make it invalid. About the whips, it is also clarified that political parties cannot issue any whip to their MPs and MLAs in the matter of voting in the presidential election. There is no whip which is permissible in this election. As per Section 18 of the President and Vice President Election Act rules, the offence of bribery or undue influence in any manner, as defined in Section 171B and 171C of the IPC, by the return candidate or any person with the consent of the return candidate, are among the grounds on which the election can be held invalid by the Honorable Supreme Court in an election petition. So, uh, there is no way that any influence or any inducement or any case of undue influence uh, which must be totally avoided. Otherwise, it's a ground for petition. So, Dwarah Se Saranish Me, Koi Bhi Political Party, Apne MPs or MLAs Ka Koi Whip Issue Nahi Kar Sakenge, Or Chokhi Bribery or Undue Influence Crime Ki Shirni Me Aate Hain, Is Liye In Grounds Per Election Supreme Anya Supreme Court Ke Dwarah Radh Bhi Kiya Ja Sakte Hain. The, Our CEOs in the States will supervise the arrangements and the election as I mentioned earlier. Now, we come to the COVID. Fortunately, it's not as uh, an issue as it was, but still, the Commission has decided to maintain every protocol in, as applicable in the respective states. The entire, on the day of polling and on the day of counting, the entire protocol would be followed. It has also been Commission's endeavour to make elections eco-friendly. This is our uh, responsibility. And in view of the importance of this election and the fact that lawmakers constitute the Electoral College and to reinforce criticality of environmental protection measures in policy and action, the Commission has directed the returning officers and assistant returning officers concerned to ensure use of eco-friendly and biodegradable material and eliminate the use of prohibited plastic material all together. Chanavo ko eco-friendly banane ke liye plastic material ki bajaye totally biodegradable material ka istamal karne ka nidesh commission ne sabhi ko diya hai. Coming to the counting, counting of votes will be held in New Delhi under the supervision of the returning officer who happens to be the secretary general of the Rajya Sabha and on completion of the counting, the return of election in form number 7 as appended in the rules will be signed and issued by the returning officer. So I have already stated that this press note booklet is available also and this is copies are kept outside but this is also available if anybody wants from our office uh, as well. There are number of questions which uh, are raised about uh, this election. So we have also prepared a frequently asked questions FAQs. There are 35 questions which we have, which also we are uploading immediately after this. So I hope, I am sure that uh, replies to whatever is in your mind would be available here. But anyway, if you want to ask anything. Now in the end, in pursuance of the subsection 1 of section 4 of the Presidential and Vice Presidential Elections Act 1952, the Election Commission of India has fixed the schedule for the election to fill the office of the President of India as given in Appendix 3 and which... Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh ki har khabar, seedhe aapke mobile phone par, abhi subscribe karein, hamara channel aur paayein pal pal ki khabar.